at the beginning was in my early 20s and uh, I hadn't been in fashion before. I started out as a complete novice with no training and no idea. It was a real um, life altering learning curve because it was a sink or swim. It really was not easy. How I started in the 80s through to how I operate now is entirely different. I felt like I was living my dream only it felt so challenging and so difficult every day. You know, you think a dream should be all beautiful and just wonderful and everything should flow, but I think a true dream comes about with um, a lot of hard knocks and challenges and ways in which you have to grow. Community for me means about serving each other and taking care of each other, because we all have to do something small. I have a lovely community at Lee where we have our beach house and north of Auckland and um, they make bags so I take fabric up to them and the community sews on a voluntary basis um, reusable bags for our local general store and then people pay uh, a gold coin donation. Being a working mum, I always found a, co a conflict. I really wanted to be with my very precious child, who was the very best thing that it has ever happened to my life, um, and that hasn't changed. So I had a lot of conflict because I also had a deep need to work and to be creative. Uh, so I started back in this business again when Jasper was nine, and. I really wanted him to um, come with me when he could on trips. What I know is that when you're a working mum, you end up with a very independent child. But I do think you need to be careful what you wish for, because an independent child then goes off and be independent, um, as he did at 17, and he went and lived overseas and has not lived back in New Zealand since. Well, I can tell you that even in their 20s and 30s, every day is fascinating still. So, um, and to not be around that on a daily basis is tough. I love the isolation of New Zealand. I love that we are at the edge of the world. I think we haven't had the influences of all of those very big kind of corporate businesses. Um, we have kind of an innocence that ha we have retained, an innocence and, um, and a, a, a purity of kind of spirit. We are a can-do. Anybody can have a go, anybody can have a crack at it. I'm grateful for this business. Like, I could moan a lot about this business. <laughs> you know, this business is challenging. I'm really grateful for people that give up their lives every day and come and share this day with me. Um, and I don't ever take that for granted. I'm grateful for that. And when my son was growing up, he was an asthmatic and he also was, um, he had many allergies. So I had many nights at Starship with him on a ventilator. Um, and you know, the wonderful thing is you can just rock on up to Auckland Hospital and they will take care of you immediately. And it's beautiful, it's a beautiful service. And I think we're very lucky. And so to be able to give back to um, support Starship is great. And Anything to do with a baby, I'm there. I've always loved babies, so, and I should have had nine of them. <laughs> we wanted something that was a little bit fun, a little bit humorous, modern, but had kind of a broad appeal. So it'll appeal to grands, and it'll appeal to young people, and it might appeal to little children. So we were trying to give it a broad appeal.